Hi right, guys, today I'm just going to go through some uh, basic grip breaks. Um, you know, to stop your opponent gripping you pretty much. It's really important that your opponent doesn't have their grip. If, if your opponent has their grip, chances are they'll throw you for rip on or just dominate you to get you a penalty. So you really want to make sure that they don't have their grip. The game is breaking their grip and trying to get your own grip and they're trying to do the same to you. I mean, that's just the fun of judo. So the first one we're going to do is a basic uh, lapel grip. Okay, so our opponent's going to come in, basic lapel grip. Okay, we'll go right on right to make it a bit easier. Pretty much, he's got good control, he's posting on my shoulder, which means when I go to throw a top grip, he's just going to push on my shoulder and really stop me getting a decent grip. Okay, so I don't want him to have this arm here. So what I do is I'm, I grab low on his sleeve up to his wrist and I pull the gear to make it tight. Alright, tighten his gear there. Now I'm going to bend my knees, alright, but keeping my back straight. I don't want this to happen because it's going to look bad for the referees and I'm losing posture. I want to keep my posture upright, my shoulders back and my head up, my back straight, knees bent. Okay, so good, strong posture. What I'm going to do with this other hand is I'm going to put it on his wrist. Okay, bend my knees and as I stand up, I pull his wrist, his arm down to 40 degrees, almost towards his belt. Pull and break. From here, I can get my own grip. So by the time he's got my lapel, I want to make sure it's tight on his, on his, on his wrist up here. Okay, if it's loose, if it's nice and loose, it's going to be a lot harder to break. So I want to keep it tight. Knees bent and straight away, really fast, pull. And it should make his fingers burn. And then after I break, I want to do something with it, whatever it might be. I don't want to break, start again. That also looks bad for referees, okay? Last thing with this type of grip break, it's quite annoying if your partner's if his gear falls down to his elbow. Because from here, there's no leverage. I can't break that. Even though Oren's very, very strong, I couldn't break that even if it was weak, okay? Because it's tough. If that happens, you're going to have to do something else. His thumb here is probably his weakest point. So, keeping tight on his, on his elbow, just keeping that down. With his other hand, I want to grab his thumb and I want to bend it outwards as I move my body. And now I do something with this grip. Okay, so but pretty much, it's very rare that his gear falls down to his elbow, but it can happen, especially while you're fighting. So if it's up at the end, grab the end of the gear, keep it tight, bend your knees, head up, back straight, pull. But if we're fighting, his gear's down here, keep it tight, grab the thumb, pull it outwards, and break. So there's the first grip break um, from a, just a traditional Japanese lapel and sleeve grip. The next one is a top grip, a good strong top grip. So my opponent's got a good strong top grip. It's almost the same as the lapel, except his, his uh, arms are a bit higher. So, it's going to be harder. I can't see his wrist, and this looks quite bad, trying to get on the end of the wrist. And you find that sometimes this happens in exactly like we were saying before. I can't get his thumb or anything. So it's, now I'm in a bit of strife. What I want to do is get my, my chin and I put it on his wrist. And now I can I put a lot of pressure on this and bring, breaks his posture and brings him down. Okay, so he's there, he's strong. I move back slightly and put my chin on it and quickly get a good grip on his arm. Sorry, back again. Got it? Here. Now, both hands on the sleeve and break and do something with it. Okay, again, he's got a good top grip. He's strong. I want to keep my posture. I don't want this to happen. One, because you'll probably grab his leg by accident and you'll get a penalty. Um, and you get a penalty for bending over anyway. So he's got a good strong grip. Quickly, chin, on the wrist, but I don't stay here. Because if I stay here, he does this, up and down, and it hurts your face. Especially when his forearm goes up and down your face. All right, so well, you don't want that. So quickly, here. And I want to put enough force that I torque his body a little bit. That's what I want. So I'm, I'm here, torque, and break. And then do something with it. So, uh, yeah, there's two um, really good grip breaks when your opponent grips you uh, with those two grips. Thanks for watching.